afternoon. The joint meeting with the Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability is hereby called in order. On the part of the Blue Ribbon Committee, otherwise known as the Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability, the joint meeting with the Committee on Legislative Franchises is hereby called to order. Good afternoon. We are in the fifth joint meeting with the Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability. Nasa Zoom pa rin po tayo, katulad na karamihan ng mga members, at si Kong at Chair Jonathan naman din nasa session, session hall pa sa ating joint meeting. Atin pong pagpapatuloy ang pagdinig sa mga isyong may karugnayan sa aplikasyon ng APS-CBS sa kanilang prangkisa. Uh, Kong Sek, Porsche, pakirakness po lahat ng mga guests natin at members, resource persons. is our NUP President, Congressman P.D. Barsaga, na binigyan po ng oras ni Congresswoman Shina Tan, Congressman Eric Yap, at Congressman A.A. Advincula. Congressman P.D. Barsaga, you have the floor. Maraming maraming salamat, Ginong Chairman. Katulad ni Boying Remulla, medyo malakas ang aking boses. Lumalakas ang aking boses sapagkat ako ay nag-practice at nagturo rin at nung ako ay nagtuturo, wala pang lapel, kinakailangang sumigaw ako sa loob ng classroom. Kaya ako medyo malakas ang aking boses, humingi ako ng pasensya, pero hindi ako nagagalit. That is my natural voice. Unang-una, sinabi ni Dean Del Castillo, na iba ang personalidad ng ABS-CBN kung ikukumpara natin sa ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation. Tama po ba? Okay. Tama po. At yung ABS-CBN ABS Corporation, sapagkat ang kanyang negosyo ay tungkol sa mass media, base sa ating saligang batas, kinakailangan 100% ang pagmamayari at pamamahala ng ABS-CBN. Tama po ba, Dean Castillo? Tama Del po. Castillo, tama. Yeah. At sa ating corporation code, yun namang ABS-CBN holdings, hindi naman engaged sa mass media. Hindi, hindi po. At sapagkat hindi engaged sa mass media, hindi siya napapaloob doon sa pinagbabawal na kinakailangan ang pagmamayari at pamamahala ng ABS-CBN Holdings Company ay 100% Pilipino. Tama po. At base rin sa ating napag-aralan, meron tayong control test at sa control test medyo madali lamang. Titingnan lamang natin kung sino ang mga stockholder at doon ay malalaman na natin kung 100% Pilipino depende sa kanilang nationality. Tama po ba? Tama po. 
at binanggit din ng ating kaibigan si Deputy Speaker Mark Coleta na meron tayong tinatawag na Grandfather Rule. Tama po. At dito sa Grandfather Rule, kinitingnan natin yung bang nagmay-may-ari ng ABS-CBN ABS -CBN Holding Company ay sila rin ang nagmay-may-ari ng ABS-CBN Corporation. Kung practically pareho ang nagmay-may-ari, i-apply natin ang grandfather rule at i-apply natin ang pinagbabawal ng ating saligang batas. Tama po ba? Tama po. Okay. Binanggit nyo kanina na ang unang pagkakataon ng ABS-CBN Holding Company ay nag-issue ng PDR noong 1999. Kayo po ba ay connected na sa ABS-CBN Corporation pati na sa ABS-CBN Holding Company noong 1989? 1999 po. 1999. Uh, kami po yung abogado ng uh, ABS-CBN nung nag-issue ng PDR okay. in 1999. At sinabi niyo rin sa pag-uumpisa pag ng ating hearing ngayong hapon, noong 1999, nagkaroon ng World Economic Crisis. Kinakailangan natin maghanap ng mga investment, hindi lamang sa loob ng Pilipinas, kundi outside the Philippines o sa ibang bansa. Tama po ba? Tama po. Okay. At para tayo magkaroon ng investment, dito naisip, ng mga manananggol ng ABS-CBN na mag ng PDR? Uh, hindi lang po ang mga manananggol kasi meron pong mga financial advisors. Okay, na financial advisors. Na. At noong kinonceptualize nyo ang pag ng PDR kasama na ang payo ng inyong financial advisors, alam nyo na itong PDR ay hindi lamang sa mga Pilipino citizens, kundi posible na sa mga dayuhan ang magbibigay ng investment. Tama po yun. Sapagkat alam nyo na posibleng ang mag-invest ay mga dayuhan, pinag-aralan ba ng mga abogado ng ABS-CBN kung magkakaroon ng paglabag sa saligang batas, yung requirement to 100% Pilipino-owned and managed ang ABS-CBN kung ito ay mag issue ng PDR? Pinag-aralan po yun. Matagal po na pag-aaral yun kasi hindi naman po overnight na desisyonan yung PDRs. Tsaka kung tatanungin nyo po yung tungkol sa ownership ng ABS-CBN Broadcasting Company, kahit ho ay grandfather rule nyo yan, ABS-CBN Holdings, Lopez Inc., at yung mga pamilya ng mga Lopez, mga Pilipino po yan. Okay. We will clarify that later. Pangalawa, pinakita nyo ang form ng PDR dito sa aming kongreso. Yung bang form na PDR na dinala nyo sa amin, yun din ang form na inisyo nyo noong 1999 o mayroong mga pagbabago. Uh, yun na po yun. The same. Okay. okay. Nabagit na rin ng aking mga kasamahan, na noong September 29, nag-issue nag ang ABS-CBN Holdings ng 132 million shares of stock. Uh, PDRs po. PDR, okay. At uh, bago nag-issue ang ABS-CBN Holdings ng 132 million shares of stock, yung shares of stock ay nanggalig sa Lopez Incorporated. Opo. At tinanong din ng aking kaibigang si Deputy Speaker Mark Coleta, ano ang konsiderasyon na ibinayad ng ABS-7 Holdings Corporation nang sila ay tumanggap ng 132 million PDA, ah, shares of stock mula sa ABS-7 mula sa Lopez Incorporated? Pinayaran po yun ng tamang halaga. Uh, hindi man po yata cash. Uh, meron pong component yun na utang. 
Okay. Pero so, binayaran po yun. Pero binayaran. Opo. Maisasubmit nyo ba ang dokumento dito sa ating pagpupulong regarding evidencing how 132 million shares of stock were delivered to ABS-CBN Holdings? Uh, hahanapin po namin sa records. Okay. Pero uh, ang ABS-CBN Broadcasting Company po ay okay. listed shares. At yun ay binayaran uh -oh. ng September 1999. Ah, uh, Ha, hindi po buong halaga. Okay. Meron pong naiwan. Nabasok rin na ang dating pangalan ng ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation ay Wartech Holdings. Tama po ba? Tama po. Tama. At base rin sa mga artikulong nabasa ko, yung Wartech Holdings ay inincorporate noong March 30, 1999. Tama po. Tama po. At noong September 16, 1999, pagkalipas lamang ng ilang buwan, pagkatapos ma-incorporate ang Wartech Holdings Corporation, ito ay pinalitan ng ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation noong September 16, 1999. Tama po. Tama. At nabasa ko rin na ang World Tech Corporation nang ito ay inincorporate noong March 30, 1999, ang authorized capital ay isang libong piso lamang divided into 1,000 shares of stock with a par value of 1 peso. Tama po ba? Tanong ko po sa Corporate Secretary. Tama po yun. Tama po ba? Kaya lamang ang pinagtataka ko, paano nagkaroon ng sufficienting asset ang ABS Holding Corporation para bumili ng 132 million shares of stock? Well, anyway, you have to explain that later. Yung 132 million shares of stock na inilipat ng Lopez Incorporated sa ABS Holdings, yon ang inisyuhan ng PDR. Ang PDR ay 132 million PDRs representing 132 million shares of stock. Alil na ko lang, itong shares of stock, ito ba ay common or prepared shares? Common shares po ito. Meron ba itong par value? Ano po? Par value or no par value? One peso po. One par peso par value. At magkano naman ang consideration sa pag-iimbes sa isang PDR? Nung 1999 po, 46 pesos yun. 46 um, pesos. Uh -huh. Actually, 45 pesos 45 and 90 something. centavos yeah. At yung 10 centavos is the so-called exercise or option price. Opo. Ano ba ho ang ibig sabihin nitong exercise or option price? Yung nung bumili po sila ng PDRs, yung 45 or something pesos po ay parang deposit nila yun. Uh, pwede nilang i-exercise, ibig sabihin pwede nilang bilhin yung shares underlying the PDRs Uh, kung sila ay qualified at ang kanila na lang ibabayad ay eh yung exercise price na 10 cents kasi nag-deposit na po sila. Sa so, madaling sabi, kung ako ang holder ng PDR, nagbayad ako ng 46 pesos, kung gusto ko maging stockholder ng one common share, pwede. Pwede po. As kung long as I kayo. am a Filipino citizen. Opo. Yun ang nililiwanag nyo kanina. Opo. Pangalawa, meron kayong sinasabing security agent. Tama po ba? Opo. Sa madaling sabi, meron tayong ABS-CBN Holdings Corporation na ang tanging layunin lamang ay para hawakan at para hawakan ang ABS-CBN shares at para 
magbenta ng PDR. Tama po ba? Apa. At siyempre, kinakailangan nyo ng security agent na siyang magbebenta in other places. Uh, hindi po. Yung security agent, yun lang po ang humahawak ng 132 million shares. Okay. Ang security para sa PDR. Let's clarify this. Ano naman ang papel ng Capital International Private Equity Funds na lumalabas sa inyong financial statements? CIPEF. Ang pagkalam po namin na i-verify ni Attorney Quiazon, sila po ay bumili ng PDRs. Sila ay bumili ng PDR. Actually, base sa aming research, ang CIPEF is merely a private equity funds, the leading global marketing markets. At ang nagbemayari ay ang Capital International Incorporated. Tama po ba? Tama po siguro yan. At yung Capital International Incorporated ay hindi Pilipino Corporation. Tama po yun, pero ang binili po kasi nila ay PDRs lang. Okay, ang binili nila PDR. Opo. Pinapaliwanag nyo kanina na bawat PDR na binibili kinakailangan mayroong underlying one common share of stock. Opo. Kaya yung 132 million PDRs na binili ng CPEP, mayroong equivalent na 132 million shares of stock ng ABS-CBN. Tama po ba? Tama po. Okay. Naka, naka, Pagkatapos, naka, kung ako bumili ng PDR, I can exercise my option para maging stockholder ng ABS-CBN sa pagkatako ay Pilipino. Kung Pilipino po, wala ko okay. problema. Kung foreigner, Di hindi pwedeng po. bumili. Hindi po pwede po. So, assuming na yung 132 million, ang bumiling lahat ay foreigner. So, yung foreigner will never be the owner of the common shares of stock. Not possible po. Not. At yung 132 million common shares of stock ay sino ang lalabas na merong legal title? Ang ABS-CBN Holdings po. Ang ABS-CBN Holdings? Apo. At sa totoo, sapagkat nakapag-issue na ang ABS-CBN Holdings ng 132 million PDR hindi na pwedeng ibenta ng ABS-CBN Holdings yung 132 million shares of stock na security ng 132 million PDR. Tama po ba? Tama po, kasi naka-pledge po yun. Naka-pledge na. Sa madaling sabi, there is a certain limitation. There is a certain control. In so far as the shares of ABS-CBN is concerned, sa pagkat yung CPEP, which is an international or which is a foreign corporation, hindi na nila pwedeng ibenta sa mga Pilipinos yung shares of stock. Unless po mag-exit ang foreign... Kaya nga, hindi po pwede as a rule. Okay. Balik tayo. We have the constitutional provision under Section 6 of Article 16, Section 1, regarding 100% Filipino ownership. At bukod dito sa constitutional provision, meron din tayong Section 2 of Presidential Decree 1018 na ating sinusunod na sa mass media kinakailangan 100 percent. Apo. At meron din tayong Republic Act 7042, the Foreign Investments Act. At ang sabi nila sa Foreign Investments Act, when we have a company engaged in mass communication, katulad ng ABS-CBN, kinakailangan 100 percent Pilipinos. That's correct, Pak. Okay. Nabagit natin kanina yung dalawang kaso. 
yung kaso ng Gamboa versus Tebes. Pati na yung kaso ni Roy. Dito, ang pinag-uusapan dito, public utilities. Yes. At ang public utilities, ang sinasabi ng ating saligang batas, 60-40. Kaya ang sabi ng Supreme Court, kinakailangan 60% must belong to citizens of the Philippines who have the power of control. Opa. Okay. Pero kung pag-uusapan naman natin ABS-CBN, kinakailangan 100% applying the control test. Opa. Tama po ba? That's correct. Po. Tama. Yun din ang sinasabi ng ating mga uh, based on the cases. Sa ngayon, alam natin na itong constitutional provision, wala pang definite ruling ang Supreme Court. Whether or not PDRs would be in violation of the Constitution. There is none po at the moment. There is none. Pangalawa, meron din tayong asunto ng PDRs involving Rappler. Opa. Although sabi nyo, iba ang kaso ng Rappler. Opa. Doon sa kaso ng Rappler, sinabi ng, ex uh, ng Securities and Exchange Commission na violation ng Rappler ang pag-i-issue ng PDR. Yun lamang. Uh, hindi po yung pag-i-issue ng PDR, yung terms po ng PDR. Okay, so sa madaling sabi, yung bang PDR na in-issue ng Rappler, kinonsider ng Securities and Exchange Commission as valid, not in violation of the Constitution? Uh, hindi po sinabing valid yun. Sinasabi lang nila that... Okay. Let's limit the discussion. Okay. Ang ginawa ng Securities and Exchange Commission, kinansel ang article sa incorporation ng Rappler. Tama po. Oh, at ang sabi ng SEC, you violated the constitutional provision. Yun lamang. Dinala ng Rappler sa Court of Appeals. At pagdating sa Court of Appeals, ang sabi ng Court of Appeals ay... There has been also a violation of the constitutional provision and therefore, baliwala yung PDRs ng Rappler. Of course, ang laging sinasabi ng ABS-CBN, including some of the lawyers, the case of Rappler is different from the case of ABS-CBN. Okay. As of now, ganong karami na ang PDRs issued by ABS-CBN. More or less. How many PDRs na daw issued? 349. Mga 349 million po. 349 million? 349 million PDR sales. Uh, At itong 340... Uh, Mr. Chairman, the authorized uh, PDRs is 300 to about 329 million. But the uh, outstanding, the authorized uh, registered and listed is about 329 million. But 329 million. million. Is that correct, Attorney Casson? 329 million. But the uh, outstanding, outstanding is about 290, 290 million. million. Uh, these are shares, uh, Attorney Casson. These are PDRs, Your Honor. PDRs, PDRs, yes. Uh, what would be the value per PDR? If that's three, uh, two, uh, 329 million authorized, 290 million, what would be the value of each? Uh, Your Honor, my market value po yan. Nung, at the time it was issued, mga 46 po yan binenta. Pero currently, we understand na ang value niyan sa mercado is only about 15 pesos. 15 pesos. Oh, now po. When you... Congressman Bersaga, I think your mic is off. But let me just... You know, when it was issued at 46 pesos, how much was the common share at that time, the local, of the abs Ben Corporation? About that... About that price, Your Honor. 46? About that price. 46 din po. 
Yes, Your Honor. Uh, go ahead, or Congressman Persada. Please continue. Thank you, po, ABS-CBN. So, ang outstanding na PDR ng ABS-CBN is for 290 million. As, uh, as of uh, March 31, 2020, it's uh, 298,827,100 PDRs. At kung i-compute natin yan times 46, it would amount to how many billions or trillions of pesos? Mr. Chairman, are you asking the chair to compute? Yes, please. <laughs> the, you know, I don't have any... Hindi abot yung aking ano, cellphone sa dami ng zero na kinakailangan. More or less, how much? I think the, uh, we just want to have a figure. We don't have to be exact about it. So yes, 200. more or less lang. Ballpark figure. Assuming na 46. 46, 13.3 It's 13.3 billion at 46, Your Honor. 13? 13.3 billion pesos. 0.3? Billion. Billion. Okay. Itong 290 million PDRs, meron tong security na 290 million common shares of stock. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Kasi kung ako naman ang bibili, aba, eh, pwede ba PDR na lang bibiling ko? Ano value niyan? Kinakailangan meron pledge of security na isang common share of stock ng ABS-CBN ang halaga at the time is assuming 46 pesos. Tama po ba? That's correct, Your Honor. And based, of your rec based on your records right now, itong 290 million shares of stock, how many are owned by, were sold, or uh, uh, how many are owned by, not owned, how many, ilan, uh, ilan ang porsyento na foreigners ang investor? Para wala tayong problema sa in, uh, ano, sa whether sale, etc., etc. Yung, et yung, yung shares po ng ABS-CBN Broadcasting, wala pong foreigner doon. Walang? Walang foreigner. Hindi nga, alam Mr. nga Chair, natin. Um, Pero ang sinasabi ko, yung PDR. Mr. Chair, yung dun... PDR na inisyo niyong 290 million. Ganong karaming PDR ang nag-invest ay mga foreigner. Sa ABS-CBN Holdings po, gano'n po karami? Yung po ang tanong ni Congressman Barsaga. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the total uh, non-Filipinos as of March 31 is 62.6% uh, of, of the total outstanding PDRs. So kung 290 million, 60% would amount to approximately... Mga 180 huh? million, no? About 180 million. About 180 million PDRs. PDRs are owned by non-Filipinos. Are owned by non-Filipinos. Yes. Kasama na po ba dyan yung dun po sa Lopez Holdings? Iba pa po yun. Iba po yun. Iba, iba pa po yun. But it's also listed anyway. Nandun po nakadeclare na yung non-Filipinos sa Lopez Holdings. Okay. Lopez Inc. yung... Anong, which Lopez Holdings, Mr. Chairman? Uh, Lopez Holdings. You, in the Lopez Holdings, there are PDRs. No, Lopez Inc. is not a listed company. Lopez Holdings is the listed company. Iba pa ho yun. So, iba pa? So, Ibang, go ahead. I think it's a different PDR. Oh, it's not the ABS-CBN PDRs? No. But it's in the Declaration of Stockholders Meeting that Lopez uh, Holdings are selling uh, PDRs for ABS-CBN Corporation. I read it earlier for the record. Hmm. Lopez Inc. ho yun, Mr. Chairman. Ah, uh, Lopez Inc. So there are PDRs in Lopez Inc. Sa Pilipino yun. Lopez uh, Inc. is a shareholder of ABS-CBN Corporation. That, that's correct. Yes. So, but in the declaration that you had, is the PDR lodged at Lopez Inc. or Lopez Holdings? ABS-CBN Holdings. Huh? ABS-CBN Holdings is the issuer of the PDRs. Yes. Ah. So there are no ABS-CBN PDRs in Lopez Holdings nor Lopez Inc. I think you better no, check wala. the website of Lopez Holdings. Na klaro klaro po doon na may although hindi hindi po malinaw. That's a different than 
uh, arrangement. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Uh, Congressman Bersaga. Uh, medyo nalimutan ko na, pasensya na. Ganong karami yung pag-aari ng mga foreign nationals na PDRs? Uh, as of March 31 nga ho, it's uh, 187,080,141. 187 million 80,141 841 PDRs 187 million 841 PDRs 187,080,141 Okay, PDRs. let's just round it up 187 million And this 187 million there is an underlying, uh, uh, underlying share of stock, common, equivalent also to 187 million. Tama po ba? Yes. At ito That's namang sure. 187 million shares of stock, which serve as the pledge of 187 million PDRs, cannot be sold to the foreigners. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. And because this 187 million shares of stocks secured the PDRs issued to foreigners, ABS, CBN Holdings cannot sell to another person, even Filipino citizens, this 187 million shares of stock unless yung foreigner ay ibebenta o i-dispose of ang kanyang PDR. Tama po ba? Because it's covered by a pledge. Ha? Huh? Because it's covered by a pledge. What, what? It is covered by a pledge. Security. Covered by a pledge. And because it is covered by a pledge, the hands of ABS-CBN holding is tied by that pledge. Hindi nila pwedeng ibenta yan yung 187 million shares of stock, kahit na pag-aari pa ng ABS-CBN holdings, sapakat ito ay covered ng PDRs na binili ng mga foreigners. Tama ba? Tama. That is the basic, because pledge is a, a security. And as security, you cannot dispose of it. Tama? Tama po. But he and to a certain extent, the shares of ABS-CBN in the sum of 187 million covering the 187 million PDRs, ABS-CBN, even the holding company, cannot sell that. Cannot and go. therefore, in so far as the ownership of ABS-CBN, that will be the issue which we, did, which we shall discuss as to whether or not there is a violation of the constitutional provision. Kasi ang sinasabi natin, and I think all the lawyers would agree, when it comes to ABS-CBN, it should be zero control of the foreigner. And when we speak of control, anything that limits the shareholding or restricts the right would amount to control. Ewan ko, kung yan ang maging position ng ABS-CBN, but as far as I'm concerned, based on the cases decided, it seems that that would be the decision of our courts. Pero po, yung restriction not to sell is really because of the pledge. So in any pledge instrument po, Ayan yun nga, po yung nakakaintindihan na tayo. Yung 187 million shares of stock, yun ang security Apo. para doon sa 187 million PDRs. Bagamat ang may-ari ng 187 million shares of stock is still ABS-CBN sapagkat hindi naman pwedeng i-exercise ng foreigner yung option to purchase because that is prohibited under the Constitution, restricted ang right ng ABS-CBN para ibenta yung 187 million shares. Tama po ba? Tama po yun. Ayun. Although he continues to exercise ownership Kanya din po ang dividendo. Tuloy -tuloy. No, but you know the ruling. I understand that you are a reviewer in civil law. And one of the attributes of ownership will be to dispose the thing which he owned. Pero ang problema rito, yung ABS-CBN holdings, they cannot dispose of 
that 187 million shares because naka-pledge nga eh. Kasi kung ikaw naman ang foreigner, hindi ka bibili ng PDR unless there is a security and that security is that one common share of stock. Tama po ba? Agree po that there is a restriction on your right to dispose Pero it is also po a principle of ownership that if you want to restrict your right by pledging or encumbering it, then it is also part of your ownership right to encumber those shares. Okay, kaya nga sinasabi natin, there is a restriction in so far as the ownership of the shares of stock of ABS-CBN is concerned. Tama po ba? Tama po. But And if there is a restriction, to a certain extent, there is control. And the control comes from the investment made by the foreigners representing the PDRs which they have purchased. At itong sinasabi natin, corporate layering, at ito ang Latin maxim ni Deputy Speaker Mark Coleta, as held in the case of Tawang case, that what, the, what cannot be done directly cannot be done indirectly. Kasi ang kung bumubuo nito ay BSCBN, sila nagbenta ng shares of stock, definitely there will be a violation. Thank you, anyway, uh, Congressman Barsaga. Yeah. Thank you so much, Attorney Del Castillo. Uh, thank you for the very enlightening discussion that you had, uh, Honorable Barsaga. And let me just call the attention of ABS-CBN. I have here the December 20, 2013-2013. Announcement in the SEC Form 17C. This is part of the Lopez Holdings uh, page, wherein you said Lopez Holdings Corporation entered a memorandum of agreement with Lopez Inc. for the subscription to Philippine deposit receipts to be issued by Lopez Inc. Exercisable into 34,702,140 common shares in ABS CBN Corporation. Lopez Holdings Corporation's total investment in the deposit receipts amount to 1.5 billion, which it sourced from internally generated funds and a short-term loan. So there is uh, the Lopez Holdings. I, again, I reiterate my point earlier to the chairman, if you can give us also the documents in Lopez Holdings Inc. and Lopez Inc. Because what we have now are only ABS-CBN uh, Broadcasting Corporation and ABS-CBN Holdings. If possible, Attorney Kasson. You're also yes, the corporate Mr. sec. We will, we will submit, Your Honor. Thank you. So just like to clarify, uh, it's in the website of uh, Lopez Holdings Corporation. Of course, Lopez Inc. is not there because it's not a privately, publicly listed corporation. So we now proceed to... Mr. Select... Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Ah, yes, Congressman... Uh... Earlier, Congressman oh, yeah. Marcoleta alluded to and read portions of the prospectus dated January 6, 2014. Can we stipulate as to the existence of this document, 112 pages? Uh, because it was not submitted by ABS-CBN into the record so that we can make it part of the record. And an admission on the part of ABS-CBN. Thank you for that, Congressman Limulia. Kindly submit to us the prospectus that you gave, which was earlier read by the Honorable Marcoleta. Thank you, Congressman Limulia.